During a press conference on Tuesday, family and lawyers of entrepreneur Ms. Gul Abdukajimova revealed the woman is illegally detained in the Almaty jail for already 45 days. Abdukajimova is charged with bribing and smuggling, although she claims to be actually a victim of the extortion pressed into giving money by Kinjibai Jumabekov, one of the financial police chiefs. According to Abdukajimova, Jumabekov requested $10,000 for the customs clearance of her truck. During the money transfer, the entrepreneur was arrested by the police. Now each party presents its own version of the events. The woman believes she is a victim of extortion, whereas the financial police claim this was a regular operation. At the same time, Kinjibai Jumabekov was still demoted following the incident, and now Abdukajimova's lawyer is demanding to drop the accusation charges against their client. The court agreed with the arguments of the defense, but the woman is still detained in the isolation ward. Ms. Gul and her defense asked the Almaty city prosecutor and the head of the financial police for an immediate release from custody. For some reason, they are not letting her go and not taking any measures to drop this measure of restraint. A trial over the former driver of the city mayor Ivan Garder charged with negligent homicide is launched in Pavlodar. On June 26, while drunk and dri in drive, an official car Garder hit and killed a pedestrian on a crosswalk. Although Tuesday was only the first hearing, local human rights activists already predict the outcome of the whole trial. Pavlodar Criminal Court is hearing the case of Ivan Garder, the former driver of the city mayor Bahidran Zulamanov. Last June, while driving an official car intoxicated, Garder hit and killed a person. The criminal case was closed several times, and only four months later, the public pressure landed it on the court. The family of the killed pedestrian abandoned all claims during the pre-trial investigation. Being a mother, I forgave the driver. My son cannot be returned while they helped me with the funeral, gave me a good plot and $1,000. Nevertheless, the judge wanted to question all relatives of the killed to make sure no one has any claims to the accused. The prosecution agreed and even said these testimonies will play a key role in the offensive strategy. In case of reconciliation, we will have to accept it and then make a decision on the exemption of punishment. Human rights activist Yuri Pavlenka calls the trial a farce and a bone thrown to the public. He believes the prosecution should not be built on the wishes of the relatives. Because if it worked, the trial of a human rights defender Yevgeny Zhovtis, who was sentenced to four years in prison in a similar case, should be considered illegitimate, says Pavlenka. If the prosecution and judges will find some loophole or anything else to get the driver out of that courtroom, then I feel Yevgeny Zhovtis should be released from prison immediately. At the same time, Zhovtis didn't have aggravating circumstances like in case with Garder. He was sober and the accident didn't happen off the crossing line. The next hearing will be held on November 10th. The creative elite of the country is ready to leave Kazakhstan, believing the state neglects the art community and does not provide enough financing to the talented musicians, actors and painters. Public activists seek to force major companies to support arts at the legislative level. Local talents in search of a broad fence. The head of the fund, Korkut Dana Mirbekova, says that creative people leave the country in search of a better life. She's also ready to leave, being confident that to stop the creative brain drain, the authorities have to approve a bail on sponsorship. There should be full governmental support for talents, including but not limited to improvement of skills, master classes and supplied musical instruments. Art critic Yuri Aravin supports this initiative, believing talented people are not valued enough in Kazakhstan. The situation with culture and art in Kazakhstan is critical. From outside everything looks perfect, whereas in reality, there we have a real cultural crisis and a music art crisis in particular. Theater director Bulat Atabayev agrees with his colleagues, but no longer trusts officials. He feels they change too fast. When they just start grasping the work process, they get replaced, although it is possible to achieve a lot, even in a couple of years, with precise and direct help. After all, art is created by specific people and not by the nation. In April of 2009, during his meeting with the creative elite, Nusultan Nazarbayev assured them that the state provides feasible support, as the country had launched two new opera houses and the wages are constantly growing. This, however, seems not to be enough and artists do not want to follow the old cliché of always remaining hungry. That is all for now. Join us tomorrow for more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.